a Stewart's Chapel. This is Don Pearson and Don Counson. This is Monday, November the 29th, and we're in Proverbs chapter 11, just looking at a few verses here over, the, over yesterday and today and tomorrow. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 17. Listen to this word. The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. The merciful man does good for his own soul. When I read that, I got to thinking, who do I know that would fit this description of being a merciful man? And I kept thinking, man, I should be able to name a whole bunch of people. But my list is very, very short. I don't know whether that's true for everybody. I just know that my list is very, very short. Actually, I've known some really, really good men, some godly men. But this attribute of being a merciful man, I can only think of one person. Those of you that are listening from Belize will know a man named Mr. Bardalis. Mr. Bardalis actually was murdered because he had this characteristic. He was a merciful man. In fact, I can't ever think of an I can't think of another word that better described him. He was good, he was godly, he loved his family, he was loving to other, but he was merciful. He went the far, far extra mile to forgive and to show kindness. And he didn't do it just once in a while. That was his nature. And it was good for his soul. It was good for his soul. You know why this devotion is sad for me? Not because Mr. Bardalis is gone. I know where Mr. Bardalis is. You know what's sad for me about this devotion? is that he's the only man I can think of that I would describe with the one word, merciful. I got a feeling these individuals are rare. The merciful man does good for his own soul. I guess all of us can be merciful at times, but it doesn't really seem to come easy or natural for us. It, it was easy and natural for Mr. Bardellis, and not just one time, the whole, his whole life. Hmm. Love you, Stewart's Chapel. Right here. <laughs>